Okay, I'm going to need you guys to be careful on this one. Too many times we see a situation where something doesn't look right, smells, feels funny, you see sparks or whatever. Try to stop what you're doing. Find where the issue is if you can. Otherwise, shut off the power. Especially if you can find a way to shut off the power where the issue's at. Or shut off the power the whole place if you have to. You don't want to cause a fire or nothing like that. It's rare that it can go that far, but nevertheless you want to use precaution as much as possible. Getting any kind of qualified personnel there to help you is your best bet. I'll do my best to give you an explanation of what you're looking at. See what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Bye. Hey guys, this is unfortunately a rather common problem. What we see here. It's got so hot from sparking, usually indicates a poor connection through corrosion, looseness, or something else. Overheating, pulling too much current on the device, probably rated at 15 amp, might be pulling too close to 15 amp. Age, things like that. When I pulled the wires out, I didn't see any arcing or any of the nuts. The other one was actually here, and there's no indication of arcing there at all. There's no indication of arcing on the wire or on the nut, or on the device right here. So this just happened from overheating on that side. Same thing on this side, no indication that the neutral, the larger side, was arcing at all. No issues on the ground. They had a refrigerator hooked up and a small 110 dryer hooked up to this to a surge protector and the surge protector in here and that's pretty much what gave way the plug for the surge protector that's what you see in here I mean if I can get it out she's kind of crunchy <laughs> look like she wants to come out oh she doesn't want to come out that good okay yeah we got it out <laughs> She's definitely really crunchy. <laughs> Again, usually the plug is not fitting properly in the device, the outlet. And that little bit of gap space can do this. Pulling too much current can do this, overheating. I told her that she, because she had the dryer in there and the refrigerator, the refrigerator gets a hard start on the compressor. And over time, those hard starts, they can pull too much current. All those momentarily is just enough to start heating things up and for this to happen. If you see this in your house or where you live or you smell something and you notice where it's coming from, you see a spark or something, do your best to unplug that appliance, that mechanism, machine, whatever you're using and until you get qualified help there I had to change the outlet for her we totally eliminated the surge protector and even the plug in the dryer wasn't very good I saw one side that had too much uh, darkness from arcing a little bit and it started to melt plus the casing was starting to break apart from the plug so I told her she has to get a new plug installed there and to hopefully use it somewhere else or she can even unplug the refrigerator while she's using the dryer if she wants to be safer in the long run. You can even change the switch where it has on off, put a larger box there, which is what I did in one of my previous videos when I was putting a fan in the window. I put a two gang box and one of them had a switch for the refrigerator so I could talk, actually for the fan, I'm sorry. So the refrigerator was plugged in constantly. I would turn the fan out when I needed the exhaust fan because I didn't have exhaust stuff work in my kitchen. So I had to put exhaust fan in the window. By the way, there's a few options for you guys to consider. Okay, usually I see this because they arc here on the screws. This one I don't see a lot, but I do see it. Uh, probably 15 to 20%. I will see something like this. Most of the other times I'll see this, the screws loose. We use aluminum wiring here. Hence the color of the screws. They're actually white. Or supposed to be white. <laughs> uh, this is a AOL. Kolar device, uh, AR, I believe, AL, excuse me, 
I have to look it up and put that in the description below where to get this, what the name of this device is, so I get it correct for you guys. But this is made for aluminum wiring, which expands faster, heats up faster, and we have arc four breakers, which is supposed to prevent this. And sure enough, too many times they don't. Don't rely on the breaker. If you see something, you smell something, and you find it, get help, okay? Immediately, okay?